Hi, sixth graders. Here it is, the month of April, and we're ready for another book talk with today's focus being on books that are a little shorter in terms of number of pages. You might be caught up in another book right now or looking for something a little shorter to read. And your teachers have also asked for books that are connected to um, video games. And so uh, Ms. Kump put together for us on our Destiny Discover catalog, uh, which again is here in the Library Media Center homepage. We can click on the library catalog. She's put together a collection for us down here about halfway that is video game fiction. So after today's book talk, you may want to take a little bit of time and um, click on that collection, take a look through um, some of the books that are located here. All of them here are fiction books that involve video gaming in some way, whether it's that a character um, is a gamer themselves or there is some connection to um, video games throughout the story. Uh, so if you have an interest in that and want to learn more or find other books that are connected, uh, you could take a look in that collection. Today, before we get to the books that I want to share, I do have a couple announcements. Uh, the first is that we are doing a spring reading challenge uh, in the months of April and part of May. Um, this is located uh, on the library homepage and I'll also be putting a link out on Schoology in the next couple of days as well. You'll see it's a bingo card, and um, the idea behind this is to read as much as you can in April and May, and you can complete a bingo row um, here uh, and return the form back to me. Uh, it has all kinds of options on here, everything from reading a book that's new to you, um, you know, a graphic novel, reading for 15 minutes while wrapped in a blanket. Sounds like a good idea right now while the weather is a little bit chilly. Um, maybe it's gonna be turning on and, and reading the captions of a favorite movie or TV show or reading recipes and making something. So again, just uh, encouraging reading here as we're kind of wrapping up the school year and then you can just download this to Notability and fill it out. Send it back my way by May 21st to be eligible for a prize drawing. So good luck, have fun. Find some ways to challenge yourself to be reading in all kinds of different uh, manners here throughout uh, the next couple of weeks. Other announcements, we are bringing the Scholastic Book Fair here outdoors the week of May 10th through the 14th. We did an online book fair in the uh, fall, and so I'm excited that we're going to be able to offer one in person outside when uh, the weather is nice, we'll hope, um, in the middle of May. I'll have more info for you coming soon. Speaking of May, the end of the month, uh, Friday, May 28th, will be our due date for all library books and materials and when they are due back. So please keep in mind, if you do have some things that are already really overdue, um, even books that are you know, back from elementary school, if you've been getting some of those emails, or notices from your advisory teacher, uh, please get those back so that we can get those wiped off your record and have them nice and clean by the time you head off for summer break. All right, today my first uh, share for you comes from Scott Cawthon and uh, Kira Breed Risley. This is the uh, series Five Nights at Freddy's, um, better known as FNAF for those that love to read this. We have both the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's series and the Fazbear Frights series in our library. If you are a fan of the best-selling horror video game series, you will want to check out these books. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's follows a young woman named Charlotte, better known as Charlie in the books. Uh, she reunites with her childhood friends on the anniversary of a tragedy that ripped their town apart. It's been exactly 10 years since the murders at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and Charlie has spent the last 10 years trying to forget. Her father had owned this pizza place. Um, he built these four adult-sized animatronic animals, right, these robot-like things, and after meeting up with their friends, they find that the pizza place is hidden but still standing. And the four mascots that had been there that had entertained them as kids have changed. 
Um, you've got to read these books to find out what happens. Even if you haven't played these games, uh, from all the students I've talked to that love these books, you don't have to play the games to love the books. You don't have to, um, you know, love the books to play the game. So um, check these out in our library. Lots of fun to read. Uh, real good spooky uh, game to my understanding. I've never played it myself, but uh, you'll find this in science fiction and we've got um, all the latest and I think we'll be adding more uh, at the book fair because I believe they've got the newest one um, at, that, at that fair. Zombie Chasers by John Klepfer. I always think of zombies when it comes to video games as well. This series is perfect for those that like either Diary of a Wimpy Kid or Dork Diaries. These books are really heavily illustrated in that same way. Um, <clears throat> this is a story of uh, Zach who is um, at a sleepover when suddenly there is this huge zombie epidemic that takes over. Um, Zach's sister turns into a zombie. His neighbors are eating flesh and they've wrecked his house and he has to fend them off with the help of some others. We're going to hear from the author here about creating the book as well as from the illustrator who helped to draw the pictures. Hi, I'm John Klepfer, author of The Zombie Chasers. And I'm Steve Wolford, illustrator of The Zombie Chasers. My favorite zombie chaser. That's like asking a parent uh, who their favorite kid is. I love writing Madison's dialogue. I think she's really funny and she always keeps the boys in check. Rice is a blast to write because he's the zombie expert and he knows, you know, all this crazy stuff about the zombification process. And then you got Ozzy Briggs from the second book who grew up on a military base so he knows all these different ways to take down zombies. And then you got Zach and Zach's sister Zoe and Madison's puppy Twinkles. It's, it, that's, that's too tough of a question. Well, working with Steve is a real blessing. He's a super talented artist. It's just really cool when I write something, I have an idea of what it's gonna look like in my head, but it's not till Steve actually draws the pictures that, um, you know, it really takes shape. And it, that's the coolest part is, you know, 90% of the time, he's, he gets it. Like, he just draws exactly um, what I was thinking in my head, and the other 10% of the time is like something awesome that I didn't even think of. Ah, uh, that Lots of fun, very funny, hence the reason it's in our humor section. Take a look. Also from the humor section, this one less about the video game theme and more about just fun and light and definitely a short, quick read. This book, Frazzled by Bookie Vivat, um, is about a girl who is experiencing middle school and just like you, has uh, got the sense that there is only a certain way to survive it. She has all kinds of tips throughout the book. Some of them are listed uh, here on the screen, like look out for good friends, keep your homework safe, figure out the best route to class. Uh, she says they're preferably one without bullies because you don't want to be marked tardy. Poor Abby is in crisis all the time. She always has things going wrong in her life. And it's not just because she's starting middle school or because she's stuck in a family where they do not understand her. Um, but this is just the story of a girl who is growing up and trying to survive the everyday disasters of what it's like to be a middle school kid. If you like Raina Telgemeier books um, like Smile or uh, Sisters, um, you're going to love the story and um, everything that goes along with it. Just very relatable, very funny. Um, you're going to fall in love with this character. Storm Runners by Roland Smith. This has the action and adventure, just that page turning, very quick moving. Um, and this is the first book in the series. Chase and his dad chase storms. That's what his dad does for a living. They race across the country after hurricanes and tornadoes and floods. So anywhere there is bad weather, they are not far behind. Chase feels like he is learning more in doing that than he would in a classroom. Um, and his dad feels the same way, so he's happy to pull Chase out of class, out of school, get him there. Um, it isn't until they are caught in the middle of a huge storm and their lives are at stake that Chase and his dad wonder, 
what in the heck they, they are doing. Have they made the right decision? You've got to read this first book in the series, Storm Runners, uh, to find out exactly how this goes. If you've ever been one of those people standing outside during a huge storm, um, you know, watching the sky, you know, just sort of taken in by the thunder, the lightning, the wind, um, you're going to absolutely love this series. It just takes your breath away. Miles Morales, Spider-Man by Jason Reynolds. Such a fun read, perfect for those that love action movies and video games. Um, Miles, as we know um, from those who know um, any of these superheroes well, he's not your average teenager. Yeah, sure, he eats dinner with his parents every night and he goes to school and he plays video games with his friends, but he's also Spider-Man. But his spidey sense has been on the fritz lately, and an, a misunderstanding leads to him getting suspended from school. Miles begins to question his abilities, and he's wondering if, you know, really he should be the superhero. Um, you know, maybe this isn't what he was cut out to do, until he uncovers uh, a, a chilling plot. Something terrible is going on, and he knows that it's putting himself, his friends, his neighborhood at risk and he believes it is time for him to suit up and save, you know, save everybody. Uh, read this book by Jason Reynolds. If you've read any of his other stuff, you know it's all fantastic. Um, such a good book. Check this one out in science fiction. And last but not least, this book clocks in, I think, under 80 pages. Very short, very funny, part of a series. Um, Diary of a Minecraft Zombie. And if you love Minecraft, by the way, we have lots of Minecraft books in our nonfiction section under 793.93. So you can go to our nonfiction shelves. Um, it's where we have all of our video game books. In fact, if you want to just learn about gaming, if you want to see what we've got in terms of um, other books about playing video games, that would be the place to go. This series um, is playing off of the idea of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and it is instead with uh, a Minecraft twist. And I think there's eight or nine books in this series. I want to just start by reading um, a page or so from this book, uh, just to give you a sense of how this goes. It opens with Monday. Urgh! Honey, it's time to get up. Urgh! Honey, it's nighttime already. You need to get up. Aw, Mom, do I have to? Yes, you do. Those villagers aren't going to scare themselves. Urg. Don't urg me. You get up and get ready this instant. Okay, Mom. Zombie parents can be a real pain sometimes. It's always do this and scare that. Some days I wish I were human, so I wouldn't have to get up at night and go scaring. I'm sure human parents aren't like this, and I'm sure human parents aren't always telling their kids what to do. Human parents are probably really nice and let their kids stay up all day and do whatever they want, but not zombie parents. Don't go out during the day because you'll burn yourself, blah, 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 they say. One day, I'm going to just stay out all day just to see what'll happen. If you like Minecraft, if you want to find out uh, what it would be like to be a Minecraft zombie and live in that world, if you've read Diary of a Wimpy Kid and you want to see sort of how um, this author chose to play off of that idea, you're going to love reading the series um, and find out how um, you know these adventures play out in Diary of a Minecraft Zombie. I hope something in this uh, book talk sparked an interest for you. Maybe you're going to go to the library catalog and look at that video game fiction collection or look at any of the collections that we have. Remember, that's a great place to go to do some shopping, looking for new books, something to read. Um, you, of course, can do any searching on there by title, by author. Send me a message on Schoology if you're looking for something else, and I can uh, help, help give a recommendation. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much, and happy reading. <music>